Hello the people of the universe, this is the Whovian Wizard and welcome back for another video. And today in this video we are once again playing Minecraft Communities as we surf and are on this channel on a Saturday at 7 o'clock. And today in this video we are uh, doing something, well we're, we're doing the same thing as normal but we are doing it in a slightly different way. Uh, well no we're doing it the same way but we're doing it for a different reason because normally I build a building and that's it. I never go to it again and then well i go to it because i run past it but like i never really use it for anything however we this is going to be the first in a trilogy of inns that we're going to be building and they're all going to be like slightly different inns so this one that we're going to be building today is called the welcome inn which when you say it quickly is like welcome in which is a bit like welcoming um so we're going to make it really like welcoming so it makes people want to go there and stay there uh, then we're going to do the um, something else in, which I can't remember what it is. Um, oh, what's it called? One uh, com uh, code in. That's it. So it's going to be all computer based. And then we've got um, thingy in uh, travel in, which is going to be like a giant minecart thing. But that's going to be different from the other two because this one's going to be like. A sort of a seaside resort sort of place but it's going to be really welcoming then the next one the code in place is going to be like um a proper like you just go there and you sleep and then you go out sort of thing and then the third and final one is going to be more like a like a pub or a bar sort of thing and yeah it should be pretty good um but today we're going to be building right over here and as you can see i've got a bit, a bit over excited and did decide to already mark out these uh, and I have rearranged this path once again I think I had to move it like three blocks this way and then I had to move the entirety of this ice rink thing like one block over that way just so it fit but uh, other than that like it's pretty much exactly the same as how I left it I haven't ooh that's not true I have added new things that is uh, or that are new things to show you but they're all the way back at the house and I've really mucked up this video. Originally I did a take where it turns out I wasn't recording my audio because I was muted. Um, then like I forgot to show you stuff. Um, but yeah so I've made some additions to my house which I wish I had remembered because otherwise then I'm going to have to go all the way back which I am going to have to do. But you can just about see it from up here. As you can see the missile slash rocket bay is no longer completely empty there is now a rocket ship um built within the rocket bay and it doesn't look that good i will be honest i like i planned it out well i started planning it out then i started building it in here to make sure it fit and then i just sort of built the entire thing so i did mean to do a video on that but i just sort of didn't so instead i'm going to show you what i've done and i have had another room to my house uh since the last video He's just saying it's just a library, but it looks quite nice. So I'll show you that first because that's just over here, somewhere. Um, it's not up there. Is this? Yeah, this is it. Here we go. So yeah, it looks. I th quite like the way that it looks through here. Like it's just a weird plain room. You walk in, you look up, and boom! It's like this giant thing. And we have had a few issues with some mobs being spawned around here, or spawning around here. They haven't been spawned. Uh, because I will admit the lighting isn't too good in here but yeah I just think this is quite a nice little room to have you've got a little sofa down there you've got the bookshelves up here I might add some more bookshelves down here actually because it does look a bit barren down here but I might add them like all the way along the walls and then along the back walls so it still has the effect of like just looking like a random empty room um, but then if we go I think it's through here then up here round to the right through that door uh, up to where it says the Hoovy and Wizards room slash farm farm and stuff you follow that sign you go through here that's the farm and then this is the stuff rocket bay and that must have been written a while ago because it hasn't got my weird capitalization that's just the fact when I used to capitalize one word uh, now I capitalize both if you don't know don't know why just sort of started doing it uh, but yeah so it's not fully furnished on the inside yet I haven't like uh, fully designed it all uh, but this is like the rough layout so this is going to be the engine room and you can flick things and then it does the things and then it does the other things like that and stuff and yeah 
it's pretty fancy if I say so myself and you can flick all of that stuff better not flick it too much though otherwise we will end up taking it off um, so yeah let's go and climb up here and I've decided to use these whoopsie daisy um, scaffolding just because they're nice to get up and down I did think about doing water but then I thought no that's just uh, that'd be a bit harder to do and I haven't really used scaffolding originally I used it for my clock tower and then destroyed it and put water there instead so I thought scaffolding needs some more representation so there was the bedroom that I just showed you and then down here is the uh, like sort of sitting area uh, it's not fully decorated yet I haven't really decided what else to put down here this is just a big empty space and I am going to do something different down here which is why there's a big blue stripe happens to be in this room and none of the others it's going to be like a blue room but I haven't decided what's going to be in the blue room yet um, this down here is essentially just the engine room um, so yeah the, this is pretty much my rocket ship and rocket bay all sorted out um, so let me go and climb to wherever the, oh wait hang on I've gone way too far up I need to go floor back down that's the only issue with scaffolding as well as you can't really tell um, where you need to stop and I did nearly just fall down there but yeah you can see this is a rather big rocket ship I really want to get the bottom of it sorted out and extend the like pin uh, not pins like uh, fins or the landing pads I guess um, just because otherwise then it does look a bit weird um, I think I think I sort of want to make them a bit longer so then if we just go back down here the way we came um, and I've realized well, I should probably change this because Igor no longer lives there because he sort of turned out to be a bit evil so Frederick you I guess you've got this room to yourself permanently now um, so what else have I done oh yeah I've, um, f finished the terrain outside Laurie's old estate because if you remember it used to be just like um, just a sheer cliff ooh that's another thing I've done I've added a lighthouse through here um, and yeah it doesn't really have any sort of purpose it's just sort of I thought it'd be quite nice because I've got a boat I've got a lighthouse they sort of go hand in hand and I thought it would just look quite nice to have um, so yeah that is pretty much it wizard industries is looking pretty good as always I still haven't finished my office yet so it does look a bit more barren than the rest um, and I am thinking of what to do with this lighthouse but I haven't actually decided uh, what I'm going to do with it yet and then if I just um, go and show you now what I've done over here with the terrain and yeah let me just carry on running up here um, or over here I guess I haven't really gone up um, and whoopsie daisy I thought I just uh, fell down a cave and died this is getting a very long like trek over to where we're actually building and there's a hole down there I don't have any dirt on me though so I'm not going to bother uh, filling that up right now I should probably start carrying around dirt with me more just because it's handy for doing anything like it's handy it's just like a temporary scaffolding block obviously before scaffolding was a block it was the thing that people use as scaffolding um, and I promise today we will get some building done even if it is just the smallest amount and whoopsie daisy just I, I keep saying whoopsie daisy I need to stop that that's like the weirdest thing I think I've ever said repeatedly in a video and there's a dog over here he's been there for quite a while actually and I'm not entirely sure why. I should probably think. Of, and there's a map as well. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> Just got map of part of my path, I guess. Uh, and there's another one down there. I assume that's of the same area. But yeah, so down here is obviously all of the uh, new work that I've done. Um, I've linked this up to the beach. I've linked up the beach around here as well because before this was like sort of a mini island and the beach was all the way like back there. So I've sort of extended this all around here. It's not completely natural. But once it fades into the water, you can barely see it unless you're looking for it. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking this is actually looking pretty cool. And it's like a mini ravine down here as well. And there's some clay down there. I might want to harvest that at some point just because it's handy for making bricks and stuff. Um, so yeah let's just quickly jump back up here and then we can actually start the building 
which is something that we should have done a while ago because I believe we're about 10, 11 minutes into the video right now. So that's not very good. For productivity, this video is absolutely rubbish. Um, so yeah, let me just quickly try and get the pictures up um, on my phone and there we go. So where's the chest? The chest is over here. And then we want to get the red concrete. We want to go like so. So what I thought would be a welcoming thing would be a um a thing a big rainbow thing. So we're gonna have like giant rainbows with clouds over it, like clouds at the bottom. It's gonna be a little bit like James's shed over there. Uh, you can just see the top of it, it looks like a T from over here, but it is supposed to be a J. Um yeah, I thought that'd be quite funny or quite good. I don't know what I thought it would be. Probably it's going to turn out to be neither of those things. Um, but yeah, I try my best. <laughs> um, so we need to get one, two, three, four, five, six. No, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So I might as well just do this on each side and then I'll start sort of arcing inwards from that. Um, three, four, five. And then this one over here is going to be. Uh, the code in over here and it does look quite small but this is just the base layer and then it will go up quite tall Then this over here is going to be the travel in um, and that, that's going to have quite a lot of minecarts um, like all the seats to watch the shows are going to be all minecarts and like they're like normally if you do minecarts as seats then you have like um, they'll be uh, just confined to one block space but I thought that would be quite interesting to just have them um, just roaming free. And have I done that right? Is that five? It looks like five to me. So that'll do. Um, so now I need to go one, two, three upwards to the middle. So this is one of the occasions where dirt would have come in handy. And maybe I should have started with yellow, actually. I think that would have been actually... Uh, not yellow. Uh purple because I think it would have been quite handy so one two three uh, and then it needs to be one two so boop and then can I grab this without letting it fall to the ground oh no it did fall to the ground but hey what can you do um, so then I need to go up by one and one only uh, just like so then I need to go across by two over here. So I need to destroy that one. Then add one more to the end. Then we're going to go across by three. So it is essentially the way that you would do circles, but it's just a semicircle. Um, so one, two, three. And then in the middle is going to be, uh, I want to say five, but I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this all on the other side and hope I don't die here. Do you think I can jump into that pond from here? Let's try it. I don't think... Oh, oh yes, did it, did it. I know what I'm on about. Um, so yeah, let's go and pile up next to this one and then I can just continue from there. Uh, do I have any wood? Because I don't think there's any wood for this bit. Oh no, but there is dirt. I forgot that we were using dirt. Um, what might actually be handy during or between the two videos is if I oh there we go so one two three is if I sort of fill in a layer of dirt just below this layer of grass so then we don't have to do that in the video uh, and then it's two and then using the dirt just go one then two then three can I place it yes I can one two three and then like so is then one two three four five I was right it was five okay so now I need to try and destroy all of this stuff which is going to be a relatively difficult thing to try and do because it's all on the underneath which would have been way easier if I had not done it like this However, I have done it like this, so I guess I have to now face the consequences. And I think 
I might have to fall down and put, oh no, I can get that one. But then for this one, I think I'm gonna have to fall down, yep. But it's not too hard to think because it is just two blocks at the bottom that I'll have to destroy afterwards. So yeah, this is actually looking quite big. I didn't think they would look this big because like obviously in the sketchbook world, it's like, uh, it's not actually, like it doesn't look that big. And I have realized that we're, we're literally running out of time right now. And I've barely done anything in this video. Uh, one, two, oopsie daisy. I keep saying that. Why do I keep saying that? I need to stop saying that. That's just going to be a new thing now. Um, one, two, and then one. Oop, there we go. Oh no, stop doing that. Okay, I'm going to try and destroy some of this dirt right now. So I'm going to do it later. And also it just gives me a little bit more to get off. And sorry, grass, I know you just grew, but you are going to have to be destroyed. Uh, and that sounded a bit harsh, but uh, can I carry on piling up here? Yes, I can. Uh, so now it's two, uh, just like so, and then it's going to be three, uh, one, two, three, and then we don't have enough to do the um, underneath of that but we do have to quickly destroy this pile uh, just over here so I think what I'll do is in between video whoops nope not gonna say it um, what I'm gonna do between video is um, just try and finish off the red part of this and I keep falling down I keep wanting to say it but I'm not going to because otherwise that's going to be very annoying very quickly for not only you watching but also for me having to edit through this and my commentary isn't that entertaining anyway but it's more entertaining than just constantly saying whoopsie daisy and we're not going to have a full stack because I have to use a stack to repair it down there and then we'll be left with 63 I'm down a piece of dirt and I've got like a very minimal part of a rainbow so I'm not sure how I feel about that but yeah so I think what I'll do is I'll end the video here, once again, probably the most unproductive video in Community World and probably Minecraft history, um, but in between videos I'll just sort out the rest of the red and then um, yeah, that is what I will do and then we can come in the next video and just finish off the outside of it hopefully and then the video after we'll be able to get the inside done and the inside is what I'm quite looking forward to so yeah I thank you all for watching uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video the next video will be online next week as always the link will be in the description once it is goodbye